We're spinning and grinning in a hot farm class, ladies and gentlemen. Hot farm tractors on the track spinning gear. Got under the turbo run. Limited on size the turbo. Three in, three out. Tied with the point this season. Pretty stout running, little tiny right here. This is right here, point down. That tractor didn't run out of no pump. John Deere rear end. It's not an 8520 like the sheet metal says. It's a 4020 John Deere. Rear end, which is totally legal, but one sharp, sharp looking tractor. This tractor used to be pro stock. This tractor has won numerous, numerous times as a pro stock. It is now housed in, in Texas. This will be the second or first time down the track. The boys are friends until they come to the track. Then they don't like each other at all. He is going to twist her tail, I can tell you right now. Don't want to be caught out at 2 o'clock in a bar of this guy. That'll get frozen down. Right on. Revelation. That little bit of a bounce did not have... That John Deere's and even an Alice Chalmer D21 was the big dog in the pulling world. Then come along the international world with the DT-466 International diesel motor. And 1066 like this. Got an inch turn. Last weekend in June, 28, 29th. Get on the website if you want to follow the Texas Tractor Pulling Association. It'll be over in Deleon at the Metal Melon Festival in August and such as that. International time, the 1066 International called Popeye. Chasing a couple deer, you're going to really have to do it right. You're going to get after that 340 foot mark. You can't bounce, you can't stutter. You heard that flutter? 